Yo, 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 what is up Halo community? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today we're going to talk about an enemy that was supposedly supposed to be in Halo Infinite's campaign, but unfortunately got cut. So the reason for that is because they weren't able to find a way to make him quote unquote fun to fight. Anyways, the Crusher supposed to be native to the ring and apparently got enslaved by the Banished. So there's actually a Crusher with armor and there's also one without armor. We also got size comparisons of the Crusher uh, compared to Atriox and a Spartan and holy, holy smokes, man, that guy is freaking humongous. So apparently in the 2018 Halo Infinite announcement trailer, there's a section of the trailer where there's a tent and you just hear something stomping by um, and it pretty much just shakes up the whole place making the radio fall and stuff and so apparently this was supposed to be the crusher walking near the tent and as you can see you can actually kind of see a shadow and it really does look like him you can kind of see his horns so it does sound very believable apparently the crusher was also supposed to be found in a cave where there's a bunch of marine bodies that are still there to uh the game we have now and apparently it's supposed to be like a trail of bodies so at the end of that trail of marine bodies you actually end up meeting the crusher in this uh, giant cave in the open world and yeah you will just have to fight it so we do have some gameplay of the crusher with and without armor and yeah it's pretty much just like a giant reptilian creature at least it seems like it to me it seems like some giant uh, reptile kind of thing so what I think is pretty cool about the enslaved uh, Crusher is the fact that it actually carries weapons on its back and of course, you know, it has armor on So it's just like the grunt meal where he has weapons on his back uh, It's pretty much kind of like the same thing and as you can see looking at the Crusher gameplay It seems like it jumps and leaps at you and just pretty much smacks you and throws you around It also seems to roar and yeah, I mean, it's just a giant beast It honestly kind of reminds me of those giant beasts. I forgot what they're called from Halo Reach, it's kind of reminiscent of that. And so, honestly, I wouldn't mind if they had creatures like that that just smack you around. Not everything has to be uh, super unique. So I personally wouldn't have minded uh, if they added these, even if they thought it wasn't exactly the most fun creature to fight. But uh, who knows, maybe it was really just boring to fight because we haven't tested it ourselves. We're just looking at the footage here. As long as they weren't freaking like spammed a lot then I think we'd be fine maybe if you encountered one or two throughout the open world so Mr. Rebs did point out that apparently his tongue is supposed to glow green much like the evolved monster that's on the box art which I got here so as you can see it's kind of glowing so apparently his uh, tongue is supposed to glow like that just a little fun fact to kind of throw in there and so not only do we have gameplay but we actually have some sound effects which I'll go ahead and play for you guys right now. Anyways guys, that's about all the info we got on the cut enemy type, the crusher. It's a shame it didn't make it into the final game, because it pretty much seemed complete. Uh, who knows, maybe they could bring it back in like a future campaign DLC, if that even happens, if we do get campaign DLCs in the future, which I'm sure will happen. Maybe that's a lot of uh, hopium there, but uh, or copium, whichever you prefer to call it. But uh, yeah, it really is a shame. Let me know what you guys think about the Crusher. Do you guys think it would have been fun to fight? I think it would have added some variety to the ring because we definitely are missing a lot of wildlife. Anyways, guys, with that being said, consider subscribing and liking the video. 
as it really supports me and if you guys want to stay updated on halo content like this i really do appreciate it love you guys and i'll see you guys on the next one peace